how to control expenses and save money. I'm Laurel Langmeyer, and I'm gonna help you master your understanding and knowledge of finance. There is so much that is absolutely wrong. Now, if you wanna stay safe and stable in a little tiny box and live in a little tiny box, live paycheck to paycheck, I'm not your girl. You wanna become a millionaire, you wanna to learn to make some money and really grow your wealth and grow your family's opportunities, I'm your girl. So we're gonna talk about three things in this category of like really controlling expenses. Notice I don't use the word budget and I don't use like risk any kind of restrictive language because I want you to go make money. That's the answer to all of this, by the way. But the three things we're gonna talk about today are actually understanding your financial baseline. Like where are you and how once you find it, can you just keep it up? There's all sorts of interesting apps that are out there. You really gonna put all that information into the cloud? I don't know, interesting. I'd like you just like on a basic set of Quicken or QuickBooks. Number two, the true value of money. How do you get a baseline and how do you compound it? Because the compounding power is where all of the games played here. And then number three, the common patterns and mistakes you all fall back into. And it's constant. And as long as you're out here on this bathroom wall called the internet, getting mixed messages and confusing messages and confusing narratives about money, you will be confused. So stay here on this channel. I'm gonna ask you early on, subscribe, be right Right here, click that notification button. I want you here five days a week. So you hear a consistent messaging, consistent philosophies with me and my expert teams here on this channel. Now, if we talk about how do you control expenses and save money, I'm gonna use word forecasting. Budgets are like diets, no one uses them and no one really wants that restrictive life of living within your means. My whole philosophy is grow your means. Go learn to make money. In fact, I'm gonna give you a gift right now as you're subscribing to my channel. Two tickets to my Millionaire Intensive where I teach you what it takes to be a millionaire. I teach you how you're gonna go make new money, build you a funnel. I don't care if you're listening out there saying, I don't have anything to sell. Everyone has something to sell. You have knowledge, you have a product, you have a service, you have an affiliate. There's tons of things you can do to make money. In my Millionaire Intensive, we're gonna uncover it and we're gonna put you into a marketplace where you actually could sell and make some money. So let's get to that baseline. How do you figure out your baseline? Well, first of all, are you an independent individual or do you have some companies? And across to all of that, you need a P&L, which is profit and loss statements, which is how much money do you make, how much money do you spend? And then you need a balance sheet, which is your assets and liabilities. How much money, and how much do you have in total? And then what do you owe in total? So once you have your P&L and your balance sheet, right, all the money you make in a month, and all the money that you owe, like everything that you own and everything you owe, now you have a baseline. I call it part of a gap analysis. I want you to understand where you are. And then how do you control the actual expense spending? I want you to live corporate life. See, if it's just you, you don't have a lot of deductions. In fact, you have just a little schedule like 1040 EZ, whoopee, you're not gonna get a lot of deductions. You have to live inside of a company. So if you're 18 and older, I want you to live corporate structure, corporate life. You're gonna learn that at my Millionaire Intensive. And I want you, whether it's an LLC, an S Corp, a C Corp, let our team decide. Don't go to those dot coms where you're not talking to somebody about a conversation about where you are, how you're gonna make money. Do you make it online? Do you make it in brick and mortar? All of these questions are critical to how you get incorporated. Now, once you're incorporated, I call it forecasting. So instead of the word budget, which is how you're spending money, you're gonna forecast your spending. So that's how you're gonna control your expenses. What's yours and what's the company's? And so you're gonna have a legal right to make money. Just say you're an affiliate of mine. You're gonna sell my games and my books and all my stuff, which if you want, there's an affiliate link in the description below. So go grab my affiliate link, become an affiliate. We have a six figure opportunity. You can make $100,000 in a year just selling my stuff. Not difficult. I have a ton of content that you'll be able to activate and move with that. Now, in your forecast, you gotta say, well, now that I have a company, let's just call it a coaching company, right? Do what I'm doing, right? It's your coaching company, consulting company. Inside of that, that actually gets to ride off your phone, your vehicle, you get a home office, you can write off your kids, you can employ your kids. If you don't have kids, you should get them, they're tax deductible, it's a fabulous opportunity. And inside of that, you're gonna forecast your spending to live corporate life, because those are deductions to your company. You personally don't get to deduct any of those. That's not an opportunity. And if you live in sole proprietor land, First of all, you're commingling, it's really messy, and you're only accessing one credit score, which is yours on your social security number. Why not have another company with corporate credit, another company with corporate credit, another company with corporate credit? So a lot of my millionaires have five, six, seven, 10, 12, 15 companies. Why? So they activate 
all access to of tax deductions. So you're controlling your expenses by making them deductions versus just straight off the top costs. Kiyosaki probably said it best in his Rich Dad Poor Dad book. There's two tax systems and you choose which one you're in, right? You're gonna make money as an employee, get taxed to pieces and live on what's left. No deductions there. Or you can make money in a company, offer a product and service. You can be online, make it as simple as you want. With the company, you get 81,000 pages of tax code deductions, right? And then you could actually do a whole bunch more deductions in the investment side of your life. Then you pay tax. So you choose where you pay tax. Most of you pay completely wrong and out of order. Corporations actually file tax in September in the United States and October for you personally. Now let's go to the next topic, the true value of money. Most of you don't understand money at all. And I'm gonna just start with actually helping you understand debt. Debt is just the cost of money. You're either paying someone to have it. You're either paying for a mortgage or a car loans. So you're paying two, three, four, five percent Or people are paying you to use your money as a hard money lender or a note holder. So I would prefer people paying the interest at 10, 12, 15% than paying interest. But why pay off low interest loans? Keep your money and start compounding. I want you to go grab a compounding calculator. Just go to any site, grab a compounding calculator and just say you put $1,000 a month away and you could learn to invest it at 12%. And you do that month after month after month for Let's just do five years. See what that compounds to. Then take five years to 10 years and 10 years to 20 years. The true value of money is the power of compounding. Now the rule of 72 suggests that you're gonna be doubling your money every seven years. If you follow our millionaire maker plan to be a millionaire in three to five years, you actually can get a lot of that compounding done and double your money in three to five years. But you've gotta understand money. You've gotta get out of the pattern of make spend and spending when you have no deductions and no tax consequences to it. But you've got to get in. I'm going to control my expenses by making them corporate deductions, not personal expenses that I'm just going to blow cash. Now, before we continue on again, I want you to subscribe to this channel. If you've not done it yet, click that notification button. And at any time, if you have any questions, you go to asklaurel.com, ask a question, make a request. We are here five days a week for you and your family. Now, last thing I want to talk about is just the common mistakes is employees hang out with employees entrepreneurs hang out with them entrepreneurs if you are truly wanting to understand money and finance you have to be mentored entrepreneurs and great entrepreneurs have mentors we join high-end programs people join my big table all the time because we work together we engage together we do deals together a lot of you you're hanging out with the wrong people and you've heard you're like the five people that you hang out with well when are you really going to take that serious and trade up and atrophy negative people out of your life you don't need to keep partying every night like you're not in college you're not 20 anymore, grow up, become a part of a mature community of people who actually talk about business. We talk about deals. We actually solve problems in the world. So come to the contribution side of the house instead of the consuming side of the house. Don't fall back into those patterns of make, spend, make, spend. You want to make money, invest money, get assets first. You can get a lifestyle later. I'm Laura Langmire. Go to askoil.com if you have any questions and I'll talk to you tomorrow.